draw a farm together. Your assignment uh, asks you to turn in an animal from a farm, but we're going to draw a farm together and you're welcome to do this one with me or turn in your own animal without a farm. So today we're going to add a horizontal line and we're going to make that our horizon line. So here's our horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky touches the earth and we'll put a little barn on that. It's going to go up, over, and down, make a little square, and then we're going to add a triangle on top. Okay, so we've added uh, two lines that can look like a triangle shape and square, and then we're going to make this thing a little more 3D so it'll look a little more interesting. A short line will do the trick, and a longer line. So short, long, and then we just have to close it. Okay, so now we can see that we just have a missing side right here, and we'll touch from the top and pull straight down. Okay, so now we have a very interesting 3D barn that we can add a lot of things to. So we'll add a new door, and usually an X will work inside the door to make it look like um, a barn door. I like to add double lines to make it a little more interesting. Okay, so now we have the barn door, and above we could add something, maybe straw and eggs at the top and a little window. Maybe some little chicken eggs up there, something fun like that. You can make that barn however you want. Um, this one is where I'm going to stop today and I'm going to add some other details below. Okay, so um, if you want to make your barn scene a little more 3D, you can actually make a dot right here and make it three-dimensional by pulling out some radiating lines. And that will give you a little bit of a place to put vegetables or flowers, whatever um, might be on the farm. I can see that I have a little space over here where I can make an animal. So I think I'm going to go with a pig because they're very fun and they have a lot of soft curved lines are just so easy to draw. So I'm going to start with a round head. It's going to be a little baby pig. And we're going to add a little round body just with a curve, kind of like a backward C. And then we're gonna add a little round nose, an oval shaped nose, I should say. Kind of an oval that turns sideways because it will look a little bit more like a little piggish type of nose. So that's what I like to do, kind of like a potato shape. And then I'll fold two little lines down to give them little nostrils and some really cute eyes. I like to make them look one way or another, maybe look off to the side or add eyelashes if it's a girl pig. Because it could definitely be a girl pig as well. Girl pig or boy pig, it doesn't matter. You could have a whole family of pigs. And last, we'll just add some little feet, legs. So I just use just very simple rectangle shapes. Two can touch or they could be walking. And then I like to make little hooves. So I add a W, a W. A W, a W, and then a curly tail to finish it off. Okay, last I just want to show a few um, vegetables or fruits you could do. And you can use really simple line types for this. So a swirl could be cabbage. Or flowers, little ovals and circles. When you put them together, can look like some beautiful flowers. All right, so I hope you enjoyed making this very simple farm with me. And if you'd like to add anything else to your picture, maybe some trees, um, you can definitely add some extra things into your uh, farm. I can't wait to see what y'all 